How's it going everyone? I've got a cool one for you today. I'm gonna to show you how to set up a conversion campaign. If you're offering a free lead magnet uh, and you're sending people to a landing page, you get their information, they hit the, the thank you page and you wanna create a conversion campaign for that. I'm gonna show you how to set up the landing page, how to put the pixel on the landing page and also the thank you page of the landing page, how to create the custom conversion and then how to create the conversion campaign itself. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna need to create a ClickFunnels opt-in page, in which case you're gonna have some ebook or some offer that people can get for free. Uh, you'll get their email details off them, you can ask for their phone number if you want. They'll hit a thank you page, we need to install a Facebook pixel. Then we need to create the custom conversion event and then we go through and make the campaign, the conversion campaign last. So let's start at the ClickFunnels side of things. You can, guys can use whatever the hell you want, but this just takes me like two seconds to set this sort of thing up. Let's use a super simple one. There's a nice simple one down here somewhere. Let's go with, um, let's go with that one right there. Select template. Okay, that is loading. Then we need to select a thank you page after people submit their information. Let's go a little bit further here. Let's go nice, there we go. We like simplicity. Very attractive as well. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we go to the opt-in page. Essentially what we need to do is you need to find your Facebook pixel and put it on both of these opt-in and thank you pages, which I'll show you how to do now. So we go on the opt-in page, we select edit. We go to our Facebook pixel, which in the ads manager is just over here under pixels. Um, you'll go, most of you might actually go create pixel or something along those sort of lines. Um, but because I've created a few, I'm just gonna use one that I've got here. Let's go details. Uh, we'll go setup, install pixel, and you just want manually add pixel code to website, and you just want that bunch of code right there. You click it, automatically copies, and now we'll go to settings on ClickFunnels. It's going to be different for whatever website or landing page builder you use. We'll go to tracking code, paste Facebook code in there, save, uh, disregard that, save that one, exit. Go to the thank you page, we're gonna do the same. Edit. And here we are, same again, settings, tracking code. Paste that bad boy in there, save. And then we're back out of there again. Obviously, you would change the opt-in page and the thank you page to be relevant to what you're actually giving people for free and you change around how you're going to send their emails to MailChimp or uh, whatever email marketing software or app that you use and obviously you change and customize your thank you page to make it more appealing and you know, get people to perform an action or behavior online that you want them to perform that's going to suit both parties of course. So that's set up right. Now what we need to do is create the custom conversion. So what we need to do essentially is go to this thank you page and we need to push that one up. So this is the URL for this thank you page. And it shows over here that we've got a Facebook pixel on it. That's the one I've got, right? So we're going to copy this URL. We're going to go to custom conversions, which is when you go up to the ads manager is in events manager. And you're going to create a custom conversion. This allows you to create a conversion campaign, right? So uh, all URL traffic contains this one. So you just paste the URL of the thank you page, not the opt-in page, the thank you page into the custom conversion, name it. You know, I usually uh, name them hit thank you page of opt-in as an example. Um, we need to select a category which is usually going to be a lead. Create. Done, and that is created. Okay, that's at the top. Oh no, where have we gone? Okay, if we scroll down, you can see that's the one I've created. It says no activity yet. So what I usually do is just go and refresh this page a couple of times and then refresh the custom conversion and it should start saying that the pixel or the custom conversion is active because we've sent traffic to that thank you page, if that makes sense. And there we go. So that's now active. So now we can go ahead and create the conversion campaign for our lead magnet slash opt-in, whatever you want to call it, okay? So go to ads manager, go create. Uh, we obviously select conversion campaign. You can name this whatever the hell you want. Select your daily budget, call your campaign whatever the hell you want, continue. And then through here is where we select our custom conversion. So, interesting that the one I just made isn't up there already, but it is what it is, it will start working. 
where are we hit thank you page geez I have a lot of a lot of custom conversions this is the first time I've been through it okay that's better so we select our custom conversion and then essentially what's happening you just go through and you create an ad the same way you create any other ad but what's happening is when people click on your ad um, and they go to the opt-in page and they give you their email they give you their contact details whatever and they hit the thank you page this one that sends data about that person back to the algorithm and it's a feedback loop and the more opt-ins the more leads the more whatever you get uh, the more the more registrations you generate as well and leads that you generate the algorithm learns more about that people uh, person I should say that avatar and gets better at targeting them so that's why this is one methodology it's not the only one that you can use but this is one methodology that works for uh, not only e-commerce purchases, getting people to add to cart, but definitely uh, offering some kind of free ebook or some free opt-in, some free piece of value uh, to help whoever it is your target audience it is that you are trying to help. Okay, so you go through and create the whole thing from start to finish, uh, and then every time that you have someone who hits the thank you page, that information gets sent back to the algorithm, and that's defined as a custom conversion. And then what happens uh, is when you look at your ads manager on the day-to-day -day basis, which you should be, you'll start to see that conversions are happening and that should align with how many leads you're getting, uh, how many opt-ins you're getting through ClickFunnels, okay? That's it. Ding.